Through the first week and a half of the 2023 MLB season, one team has absolutely stolen the show. But it's not the free-spending New York Mets, or the mighty Los Angeles Dodgers, or the dynastic Houston Astros. Naturally, it's the Tampa Bay Rays, who recently became the first team since 1987 to open a season with 10 straight wins, while also posting the highest run differential through 10 games of any team since the turn of the 20th century. And at the risk of overreacting to a small sample of games, the Rays look poised to defy the projection models and experts who overwhelmingly picked them to finish in the middle of the pack in 2023. But this is just business as usual for baseball's most counterintuitive franchise, a franchise that consistently amounts to more than the sum of its individual parts. We'll explain. Sit back, relax, and take this in. If it feels like we go through the same song and dance every year, that's because we do. Seemingly, the Rays take the field on opening day every year with an embarrassingly small payroll and maybe one or two household names on their roster, and then they go out and win roughly 90 games and make the playoffs. In fact, the Rays have made the playoffs in each of the last four years, tying them for the fifth longest active playoff streak in baseball. This, despite never once during that span fielding a payroll of even $85 million. For your information, the league average payroll in 2023 is just shy of $160 million. When Tampa Bay captured the American League pennant in the COVID-shortened 2020 campaign, they had the third lowest payroll in the league. The following year, when they set a franchise record with 100 wins, their payroll was the fifth lowest in the majors. The best player on those teams by wins above replacement? Brandon Lau, whom I suspect most casual baseball fans have never even heard of. But this is what the Rays do. They use their seemingly unrivaled scouting, developmental, and strategic acumen to elevate teams that look mediocre on paper into juggernauts, and this year has been no exception. Despite only one player on their active roster making more than $7 million this year, and despite most major projection models and experts predicting them to finish third in the AL East, the Rays have put together one of the hottest starts in MLB history. At 10-0, the Rays are one of just seven teams since 1901 to start a season with 10 straight Ws, and none of those other half dozen clubs came even close to the Rays in terms of average margin of victory. Simply put, they've gotten off to an outrageous start, although there is one key caveat. The Rays' first three series in 2023 all came against bad teams, like terrible teams. None of the Detroit Tigers, Washington Nationals, or Oakland A's managed even 67 wins a season ago, and all three are widely projected to finish last in their respective divisions in 2023. Still, as much as the Rays have benefited from a soft schedule, they've also just flat out dominated on both sides of the ball. They lead the majors in just about every meaningful offensive category by such a wide margin, it's not even funny. Meanwhile, no matter which pitching stat you look at, they're probably leading the majors by a silly margin in that one too. And while plenty of credit is owed to their more recognizable players like Randy Rosarena, Wander Franco, and Shane McClanahan, their success, in typical Rays fashion, has also been fueled by a litany of randos. Through nine games, the team leader in slugging percentage was Luke Rayley, a 28-year-old former seventh-round pick who had all of 55 big league games under his belt coming into 2023. Meanwhile, the biggest standout on the pitching staff has been Jeffrey Springs, a converted reliever who's racked up 19 strikeouts and has yet to allow a run through two starts. Three years ago, this dude put up an ERA above seven pitching out of the Red Sox bullpen. Are you kidding me? And although it's hardly insightful to note that regression is coming for Springs and Rayleigh and just about everyone else on this roster, there are plenty of indicators that suggest this team is just better than we thought. Through April 9th, the race hitters ranked in the top five in the majors in average exit velocity while leading all of baseball in barrels, essentially the best kind of contact you can make, per plate appearance. It's not like they've been slapping singles and getting lucky with bloopers here and there. They've been scorching the ball. Meanwhile, the Rays pitching staff sits in the top five in the majors in both average fastball velocity and stuff plus, which is a metric that essentially quantifies how nasty a pitch is based on its physical properties. On the whole, the Rays staff is filthy, and that's with Tyler Glasnow on the injured list. The bottom line, this team looks like a serious problem for the rest of the American League, 
and while they're going to slow down eventually, their hot start has already changed the trajectory of their season. Before the season started, Fangraph's model put the Rays' playoff odds at just over 61% and gave them a roughly 20% chance of winning the AL East. Now though, less than two weeks into the season, the Rays have a better chance of making the playoffs than any other team in the American League, while their chances of taking home a division title have soared to almost 50-50. You have to figure that at some point, their low spending, post money ball, galaxy brain approach to running a baseball team will blow up in their faces, but it sure doesn't look like that's gonna happen in 2023. But what say you? Are the Rays a genuine World Series threat? Or is their hot start just a mirage thanks to a ridiculously soft schedule? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. As always, we appreciate you. We'll see you next time.